Hey guys, what's happening today? I'm gonna go ahead and start on this rear end of the truck. Um, if you watched the last video, it was like the brakes were locking up or something. I mean, it's, it's in neutral and you can see the hub will turn, but the rotor will not. So I'm guessing uh, these calipers are stuck and this is the side that the bolts are like just about ready to fall out of the caliper. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and take these apart and see what all needs replaced. Well, those bolts definitely were not in there hardly at all. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, maybe, this piston went back and this one didn't. So this one's locked up causing the brakes to be stuck on. Now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, as you can see these slides here, uh, they move easy. So this is not the problem, needs a new caliper. Let's go check out the other side. Alrighty, now same thing for this side. Can't turn it whatsoever. And the rotor is kind of reddish color, like it's been really hot before. So go ahead and pop off this caliper. You guys can tell there but that piston was junk actually both are these things are just falling apart so yeah definitely needs a uh, caliper and we're gonna go ahead and just buy a loaded caliper one that comes with a caliper and bracket we'll also get pads and a rotor so that should fix up the rear end part, and now the rotor moves just fine. So there you go, that's how you know it's a caliper. All righty guys, so now that we got the rear end unlocked to where we can actually turn it, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the drive shaft, just the back half of it, since that U-joint there is bad. And um, as you guys can see, that U-joint is shot, and it vibrates super bad. I think a piece of bearing just fell out, but these are 12 point bolts. I'm not sure what size. I think they're 13s. I'll have to get back once I get the socket. We're going to take it off there and I'm going to take it off right there. These are just 8 millimeter bolts and uh, pop that dude out of there. Now, you want to put electrical tape around this so these caps can't fall off and your needle bearings will fall out. So, put electrical tape around this and you'll be good to go. Got, um, got this part off, got it halfway out I guess you could say. And knocked these caps out. And this one was broken. And this was actually worn through. It's not really it didn't break off it's just been worn through you can see how thin that wall is right there that's from that it's supposed to be round and it's kind of ovaled so there's that that side still a circle but there wasn't any bearings in these caps um, so we're going to go ahead and knock the u-joint all the way out of this as you can see, I painted on the back of this to line it up. You want to make sure you line these up just in case it becomes unbalanced if you don't. Uh, that's probably what this is here for, a weight. If you keep it balanced so it doesn't vibrate, but just for extra safety, always make sure you put it on the same way you take it off. Alrighty guys, got the uh, U-joint out. There's the other half right there. That one cap is really stuck, but already got it out 
Uh, this is the bigger one, the 4.18 one, just under four and a quarter. And uh, I think the cap's like an inch and three sixteenths or something. So we've got that done. Um, gonna go ahead and pull off the brakes. Uh, what's left of them anyway there. And um, we're also doing a serpentine belt and a tensioner. Alrighty, well, as you guys can see, we finally got all of our parts. We got ceramic brake pads for the rear, and we got the um, belt tensioner belt, two calipers that have the brackets on them, two rotors, and a U joint for the drive shaft. So, um, yep, got the brakes apart. We're gonna go ahead and do the brakes first. Then the U-joint, and then I will uh, probably take it on a test drive. And no, I'm not. I'm just going to turn the truck around. That way I'll have more light up in here. Look at them pretty rotors. Oh my goodness. And now, of course, they got the painted, um, I guess you could say, hat on them. Keep these from rusting. And surprisingly... This does last for a long time, these coatings. So they got one thing right. So I got you guys all set up here and I got a, this light that I've been using forever. Well, that's what I picked up today. Picked up a snap-on light off the snap-on truck, of course. It uh, rotates 180 degrees, made out of aluminum, magnetic base, pretty strong 700 lumens and if you hold down the power button it'll dim down hold it down again brighten right back up it's rechargeable and uh, yeah so this is what we're going to use instead of that light so this is what it's going to look like this is the old shop light and this is the new light can you tell any difference I don't know it's only got two bars left on it, so let's hope it, it's good for something. Alrighty, my phone said I didn't have any more data left, but went ahead and deleted some stuff. So this is the driver's side, got it all done, waiting for it to start dripping, uh, get it bled, and the other side's already bled. Might have to still uh, have someone pump it up and pressure bleed it. But once these get bled, we're gonna throw the tires on, flip the truck around, and get the belt done. All right, I lied. First, we gotta do this U joint, then we'll move the truck. Now here's our new U joint. Just I already matched up with the old one. Saves you a lot of time when you realize that you got the right one instead of the wrong one. Instead of trying to go ahead and put it in, so always match them up. Sometimes aftermarket ones might be a little different, but just a tip there. Let's go ahead and get this thing put in. And there it is. You want to make sure it moves nice and easy both directions. And as you guys seen, that is the improper way to install U joint with just a hammer. But my vise isn't big enough. This is a four inch vise, so this is like four inches, uh, four inch U joint. So had to make do, but none of the needle bearings got messed up, and it moves nice. So I'm happy. Throw this in the truck and get this thing turned around and throw the belt on. Well guys, 
I didn't film the putting the belt on, of course, but we did get it on. And as you can see, got the new tensioner on and all that. It's got a little oil leak. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but it's no big deal, really. It's not leaving any marks on the ground, but I gotta say, I forget how bad those 6 O's are to put a belt on, but they are a pain in the ass. So I got that done, got the rear brakes done, the rear U joint, everything's done, went and drove it, still had a slight vibration, and I'm pretty sure it's just because the tires on the back end are junk, and like the seat vibrated, nothing else, but then when I was going about 16 hit the brakes you could really feel the front brakes were just warped bad now i told him i said uh, he did ask about the front brakes whenever i told him about the rears and he's like you know how they look and everything I'm like well i didn't really look at them but when i drove it even though with a bad u-joint i was like they felt all right well now that everything else is fixed the brakes really amplify themselves because they like it's a little scary hitting the brake pedal, but it it does uh, need some new rotors. It looks like someone's put a, one new caliper on the passenger side here and some new pads on both sides, but they didn't put the rotors on probably because these rotors are the hub. And these are like $103 a piece. So looking at about with tax and everything about 220 dollars just for rotors and that's if you use your wheel bearings just repack them and everything so i got to get some new uh seals for the back of them though but anyway he said he wants to do it so i guess tomorrow he's going to get some pads and rotors we'll throw all that back in there and um hopefully everything this truck will ride really nice it, it's a damn good running truck I mean sounds good runs good I mean it shifts great later on as you guys seen the exhaust is right under the cab and they just took the uh, exhaust filter and just cut it off so it looks like a big tip but later on as long as the truck as long as he likes it because he hasn't even drove the truck yet with how it's running how smooth it is now so if he likes it he's gonna put an exhaust on it and put a tuner on it but he's not gonna you know run a hundred horsepower tune and blow the heads on it. he's gonna just use a tuner with a like 50 horsepower tune and uh, be able to monitor everything because he doesn't have anything to monitor like oil temp coolant temp uh, trans temp anything like that so and might just put some gauges in it for him i don't know so anyway guys this will be the wrap up uh probably won't show a video doing the front brakes just because it's front brakes it's easy um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, truck to work on. There'll probably be more content coming for this vehicle. Um, I don't know. He's planning on putting some more stuff into it if, as long as he likes it, like I just said. So probably be some more videos on this truck. And he's got a few other vehicles for me to work on. Anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. I enjoy the comments, uh, reading positive and negative. Uh, all you keyboard warriors out there, whatever. Um, anyway, thank you guys for the likes and subscribes. Uh, we're starting to get up there about 180 now. So, doing great. See you guys in the next video.